Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Spiritual Growth Journeys. I'm Kimberly Palm, your host, with uh, two of my most important guides on the planet, Yeshua Christ over here and Miriam of Magdala over here. Whoops. It's different because <laughs> the way the camera is pointing, when I'm looking at it, I'm seeing it on an opposite side of you. So if I'm pointing in the wrong way, it's because it's not coming um, on the screen the way I'm seeing it. So anyways, how are you all doing? It's been a while um, since I've done some of these videos. I've been just super, super busy and dealing with all the crazy things that are happening on the planet. Um, so I have an important message for you from Yeshua. And um, I got this message actually about three weeks ago, and I haven't been able to share it because I've just been too hammered, busy, and not able to make any videos. So I, it's better late than never. And honestly, this, uh, the message I'm about to share would work for any time in history, honestly. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's today or next year or next week or whatever. Um, of course, it's, it's important for what we're going through now, but um, three weeks later is not going to make a, a big difference. So um, before I get to that message, I have um, a few things to talk about and a few um, things I want to cover. Number one, we have crazy things happening on the planet. Um, I was told that the floodgates have basically open with the RV Wade overturn. Um, the floodgates open, basically a tsunami of stuff is gonna start happening. You're gonna see it happening everywhere. And um, some people are claiming that that was a distraction so they could have a private Supreme Court hearing to overthrow the 2020 elections. I don't know if that's true, but a certain person on YouTube is saying that he has a high up government source that says that's what happens and that happened and that the Supreme Court justices are under military protection and they're being hidden all over the world. I do not know if any of this is true. Don't ask me if it's true because I don't know. Um, when I, when I ask about any of the, these things of my team, I get crickets and silence because they've told me repeatedly that I need to not really be paying attention to that stuff. I need to be focusing on, um, spiritual stuff and helping people. And that's my focus in helping my family, you know, of course, and, you know, my own life, my own personal growth that I'm going through. Um, that's what I'm supposed to be focusing on, not supposed to be focusing on, politics, um, certain medical things that are going on in the world. I'm not supposed to be focusing on um, just a lot of uh, things. Extraterrestrials is another thing I'm not really supposed to be talking about at all because I do not know anything about them. So I get lots of people asking me, what about the Arcturians and what about the Andromedans and what about the this and that? I don't really know anything about any of the ET races. That's something that you're going to find on Elena Danon's channel or Alex Collier or Michael, Michael Sala. That's their thing. They're ET people. They're MUFON, whatever. They're into the ET thing. Um, also David Wilcock, people like that, you know, they're all about the ET. I think Corey Good, you know, there's all these ET um people out there that cover ETs. Uh, there's people who are covering Skinwalker Ranch right now. There's some major stuff going on out there. I am not experts in that area, so I don't talk about it on this channel. So don't bother asking me what about this ET and what about that ET? I don't know anything about the ETs. I am connected directly to God, directly to spirit, directly to Yeshua, Mary Magdala, Mother Mary, my other guides, um, you know, like Kuan Yin and Lord Buddha and those people, that's who I'm connected to. I am focused really on helping the humans on the planet with their spiritual growth, not ET stuff. So please don't ask me questions about the ETs, because that's not my thing. Um, Alex Collier seems to have some of the best intel on that stuff. And he's a really good human being. He's got a good heart and a good soul. So I really like him the most of the whole ET community. I think he's my number one 
favorite. Um, what else do I want to say? There's just a lot of crazy stuff happening. So since RV Wade happened, a whole bunch of stuff happened. We had the Georgia Guidestones blown up. Now, how that happened is it was a satellite hit from space. It was a laser weapon, what they call a directed energy weapon, but it came from a satellite. And, um, and I'm not saying that 100% guaranteed, but what I'm getting, this is what I'm getting energetically or spiritually, what I'm hearing on a spiritual level is that it was what we call the Earth Alliance. That's the good guys, not the bad guys. The bad guys actually didn't blow up their own monument because they're really proud of the fact that they want to decrease the surface population down to um, only 5% of what's on the earth right now. They want to kill 95% of us. They're very proud of that and they would never blow up their own thing. I've heard people online say, oh, they blew it up themselves. They did not blow it up themselves. It was a signal, an FU signal to the cabal from what we call the Earth Alliance. And it came from an energy weapon from a satellite. They also blew up an obelisk in the Philippines. Well, the Philippines is one of the hugest trafficking places of children anywhere on earth. All of those Asian countries they traffic so many children out of there, Indonesia, Philippines, a lot of the Caribbean islands, a lot of island places. They go into these island countries like Sri Lanka and places like that and Bali, and they just um, traffic tons of little kiddos out of there because there's a lot of orphan children um, in those places or just very poor children. There's very poor people who will sell their children off. Uh, especially the girls, you know, a lot of these Asian countries, it's a disgrace to have a daughter, they just all want sons. So they will sell their daughters into sex slavery or trafficking or, or whatever. So an obelisk in um, Philippines was also hit by a weapon and blown up. I have been given intel that there's a possibility that they're going to hit Washington Monument, Abraham Lincoln's tomb somebody said and a few other obelisks so there's a bunch of these obelisks which have been used by the dark uh side the the bad guys um to harness satanic energy you know to, to harness this dark energy and open portals uh for the dark ones um they open up like hell portals or satanic uh demonic portals so <clears throat> a lot of those um a lot of those uh, obelisks I've heard are all going to be targeted and they're all going to be taken down uh, because we're ending their reign of satanic baloney on planet Earth. So there's that. So the other thing that happened is somebody assassinated the Japanese, the ex uh, head of Japan. I don't know him personally. I don't know anything about him. I haven't had time to check in with him spiritually to see if he's good or bad, but I've heard some people, a lot of people actually saying that he was playing for team darkness and that he might've been taken out by the good guys. I don't know the answer to that because I haven't tapped into him. So I don't really know. And then also Boris Johnson from the UK, he resigned and that was a big celebration for all of my awake friends in the UK because they all despise him. Everybody I know in the UK, friends that I've had for years and years, just friends, not even spiritual people, um, even people who aren't even awake, they do not like him. So I am sure that Brits are celebrating over that, at least some of them, maybe not all of them. Um, but this is basically signs of the time that the floodgates have opened from the good side and that we are on that ascension timeline right now and you're going to start to see more and more events happening um we need to all have patience you need to just stay positive uh, my advice is to practice mindfulness every day just be really mindful in the present moment <clears throat> doing um you know really focusing on your life yourself your family um, what you're doing in the moment, going from moment to moment and not worrying about the future and not thinking about the past. The past causes depression. The future causes anxiety. Uh, fear causes anxiety and depression. So do not go to places of fear. There's nothing to fear. If you have chosen to wake up first, if you are in the first group of the, the great awakening where, you know, you woke up in the last couple of years and you're watching my video right now, I just want you all to know 
that this guy over here is protecting you. And so are all of the, the angels and archangels. We have angel armies protecting all of us. Um, we we uh, rose our, raised our hand and volunteered to come to earth. We are the star seeds, light workers, way showers that um, we chose to come here to help um, bring in this new era of peace and love, what they call the golden age or the, um, you know, the golden age of Gaia, it's called a lot of different things, new, you know, new earth, whatever you want to call it, heavenly earth, earth 2.0. We're, we are here to bring in the fifth density love consciousness. Okay. So don't go to a place of fear because what the fear does is it makes you physically sick. It's going to harm you emotionally and physically. It will harm every cell in your body. So it's not worth it to harm yourself that way over something that's never going to impact you. So please do not go there. You're going to start seeing more and more crazy crap happening on the news. There was another shooter. It was um, for the July parade in Illinois. And that was um, what I got was that guy was another MK ultra guy from the, the three letter organization, um, starting with letter C. And what I've gotten over the years is every time there is a shooting, um, it's an MK ultra person from the letter C three letter organization. So um, those kind of things are, they're just going to push it and push it. Um, part of why they're pushing that shooter agenda is to take away all of our guns. Um, I don't own a gun. I don't have a gun myself, but they are really, really, um, trying, you know, so I don't have any say in what they do or do not do without that. Um, because I don't have one. But I will tell you that I know lots of people who do have them and everybody has that constitutional right to have one if they want to, but they're trying to take away all of our freedoms and all of our rights. And the problem is if they take away all of the guns, as my son has said, because my son's a criminal justice dude, that's what he does. He said, mom, all the bad guys are still going to always have guns. So if you take away all of our guns, then all the bad guys come after all of us and have a free for all and they can do whatever they want. The cops won't be able to do a darn thing about it. And they don't want to anyways, with the way they've been doing their defund thing of the police and hating on the police. A lot of police are quitting and they're understaffed. They don't have enough officers to respond to things anywhere in the United States right now. And it's becoming more and more of a problem. So you have a decrease of people protecting us, sheriffs and police and ATF guys. And what are those called? The wildlife, fish and wildlife, all of these guys that protect everybody. We have less and less and less of them um, and more bad guys getting guns. They get them on what's called the dark web and they can get them anytime they want morning, noon and night, two in the morning, five in the morning, one in the afternoon, anytime they want one, they can get it. So if they take away our constitutional right to carry a gun, then the, the people in America will not have any means to protect themselves. And you can't depend on law enforcement anymore. Law enforcement was compromised a long time ago. Um, the good guys that are there, a lot of them are quitting. And then there's a lot of bad guys in there who are not nice. We've seen it happen over and over again. I've seen video after video of police brutality, police being racist, police being harmful to people. And at the same time, there's plenty of police officers who are really good, decent human being. In fact, I'm friends with several of them. I have a whole bunch of friends who are sheriff and police officers. In fact, I have clients who are sheriffs and police officers, lots of them. Um, I work with a lot of law enforcement um, in the spiritual work I do. And because they need a lot of counseling because they're really stressed out. And there is a lot of good guys working in law enforcement. But because the radical left has um, created a hate campaign against them purposely, it's all part of their plan, which is divide and conquer, take away our rights, take away our protection, which is guns and stuff, take away all the good police and and, and put in their own people. They put their own um, uh FM, I'm not going to say what FM stands for because I don't want to get a strike or whatever on social media, but let's just say it's um, bad people. Um, they put in their own bad um, police officers in there and they and sheriffs and then they they're always removing or running the good guys out all the time because there's a lot of good guys. <clears throat> and then what we're left with is we can't 
protect ourselves in the end. So we need to all stand up for our rights. Everybody needs to stand up for our rights. We need to be praying every day and asking for intervention, asking for um, intervention from God, asking for intervention from the angels. Um, the ETs are not going to ever intervene. So don't even ask. Um, they've said repeatedly to people like Alex Collier and, and Elena Denon and other people I know who talk to them that they're not they're not going to ever do anything to interfere with the earth. It's our problem. And if you're expecting somebody like initials DT to come save you, he's not going to save you. Nobody's going to save you. We have to save ourselves. The longer that you expect to sit around and wait for somebody to save you, the longer you're going to have this really boring, long wait. It's just not going to happen. We are the ones that we're waiting for. So we have to get off our duff and do something. What am I doing? Well, I don't have the means to really go out. I'm not a protester person. It's just not my personality. Plus I don't wanna cause trouble for my, my family and friends. So, um, and there's a lot of other reasons. I have health issues. There's just a lot of reasons why you're not gonna see me out protesting. How I put my two cents into the equation is making informational videos and helping people and inspiring people and giving private sessions to people to counsel them in their lives and help them heal their body, their mind, and their spirit and make their lives better. Um, serving humanity that way, you know, teaching lots of planet classes. Plan, I almost said planets and clan and classes mixed together. Planets, I guess that's a new word. Um, so you can write that down. Planets, classes plus planets equals planets. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I, um, you know, I, that's my job. My job here on earth is to teach you all to just be the teacher. I'm not here as a protester. I'm not here as a politician. Uh, my son actually made a comment to me one day that he thought he wanted to be a politician, but then with all the stuff he's been seeing on the news, he changed his mind completely and said, nah, I don't want to be a politician, mom. And I'm like, good choice. I don't really want him to be a politician because this world is seriously messed up and I don't want my child who's a man child. I don't want him to, to get, um, messed up in that way. That would be absolutely awful. So, um, so I'm glad that he chose not to be a politician. I actually, back in high school days, told a lot of people that someday I wanted to be the first woman president, but now there's no way in hell you couldn't pay me to get into politics at all. Like not even on a city government level, because in our city government and in any city I've ever lived in in the United States, I've lived in many cities all over the U.S. and in any of the cities I've lived in, the city um, city uh, government people that are in those positions are power hungry, out of control, moronic, crazy pants people. I mean, there's no way in hell you would get me in there with them. Um, most of these cities are run terribly, absolutely terrible. Um, and I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm not going to name specific cities that are some of the worst in the country, but I've experienced them and, and I know who they are. I know what they do. They're, they're awful. So I, I'm not going to ever partake in any of that. I'm, I'm, again, I'm here as a healer and a spiritual teacher. That's um, my purpose here, or not my purpose, but one of my missions, as I talk about in my book, Ascension 101, you know, you have your soul purposes and then you have multiple missions that you could have while you're here on earth. And one of my multiple missions is helping you all. So on to the help part of this video, now that I kind of uh, covered that stuff, um, this guy here, my boss, Yeshua, he gave me this wonderful message for you all three weeks ago. This is super, super important. So please listen up, maybe even take notes if you want. All right. I love you all. I want you to all have happy, peaceful, healthy, happy lives always. So this is why I share um, this info with you. So he came to me one day and the message was for me because I was going through a lot of heartache and problems over my family situation. Okay. My family's still sound asleep. They're still under the dark mind spell. They watch the tell a vision 24 seven. They're under the, the deep state state MK ultra uh, blue pill, um, effects. They're totally blue pilled. Um, they're in the matrix. They are stuck. And I was really upset. And so he gave me a message and he said, he wanted me to share it with all of you, even though it was for me, but it's also for all of you. So he started off with saying, 
love your family the way I have loved you. Okay, that's how he started. He said, love your family. He said, Kimberly, love your family the way I have loved you. Love is what heals. He's always said, he said, Kimberly, haven't I told you over and over again that love is the greatest healer? I said, yeah, yeah, you've told me this many times, but I'm very stubborn. <laughs> I'm so stubborn. Sometimes you have to hit me upside the head 50 million times with that. So love is the healer. And he said, love your family the way I've loved you. And then he said that no matter what your family's doing or hating because they're hate, you know, hating on me. Um, my husband last, uh, several days ago, again, pulled his thing because I was telling him about something going on in the world that I got off of my news. And he's like, you know, harassing me about how my news is all a bunch of conspiracy bullshit. And he, and he said, if you're going to keep talking about that, I'm going to have you locked up. Okay. Because he thinks I'm crazy pants and that all my friends and everybody who follows me and everybody who's watching alternative news and everybody who voted for Mr. T and everybody who is against the, this thing, uh, the bioweapon thing, uh, that we're all crazy pants. That's what he believes because that is what the MK ultra programming has told him. So I was actually very emotionally upset. And the boss told me, love your family the way I have loved you. He said, you need to love them even now, even harder than ever, because he, he said, you need to have compassion for them. They don't know what they're doing. They're under a dark mind spell. And the more opposition, he said, the more that you are, that you are feeling kind of bitter resentment. He said, Kimberly, you need to stop resenting your family. Cause I was feeling horribly resentful said, you need to stop resenting your family members who are against you and you need to just love them. And you need to focus on only talking to them about things that make them happy right now until they do wake up. They will wake up. I was promised that they would wake up and I was promised all of your families too will also wake up because what's going to happen is one or both of two things. Number one, either there will be some EBS thing and everybody will see the truth. Or two, we're going to get a great solar flash that will wake their asses up really, really fast. And I'm going to be talking, I'm doing a ladies um, round table with a whole bunch of wonderful people. I've got um, uh, Victoria Reynolds, Salani Terry Apodaca, Gail of Gaia, um, my brain is like doing a brain fizzle thing. I've got just a whole bunch of these um, beautiful, beautiful women, Sandra Akura from Germany, Sandra McKellis, and um, Jenny Lee, who's an amazing remote viewer. She's like one of the best remote viewers next to my friend, Miriam. I mean, she's amazing. So um, they're both really good, but Miriam doesn't do YouTube anymore. She doesn't do any of that anymore. She's working a full-time job and living her best life. So, but we do have wonderful conversations because she still remote views for herself. She looks at stuff just for herself. She just doesn't share it on YouTube anymore. So I'm having all these beautiful ladies in a round table an Ascension round table. And we will talk, talk to you about the flash, what will happen to you, what's coming in the future, all that kind of stuff. But until all those things happen, until the flash hits and all that, what Yeshua's message to you all is love your family harder now than you ever have before in your life. That's what he said. So do you need to love them even more, even stronger, even harder then you have ever, ever loved them in the past because it's the only way out of this because what here's what he said is happening. And I've seen it happening myself with my clients, my friends, people out in the world is all of the awake people are starting to resent, horribly resent their sleeping family members and friends. And what is that is causing is violent negative energy that is lowering the vibration of the planet. And it blocks all of us from ascending. It really harsh blocks us. So the more we resent them for not being awake and the more angry we get about it and pissed off we get about it and they're not awake. When are they gonna wake up? The more you do that, you're lowering your own frequency, your own vibration. You're making yourself physically sick and you're lowering the frequency of the entire planet because it's not just me and maybe one of you or two of you or whatever that are doing it. It's everybody. Like so many people are doing this. 
So stop, okay? Stop sign, don't do it. Halto, no more, don't do it. Don't do it anymore, okay? This guy says so, he said stop. Love them the way he has loved you. What does that mean? Well, look on my, I can put a link to it actually in here, but I did a video on agape love, that unconditional love that Christ had for all of us, the love that was stripped away from this planet by the cabal a long time ago. And um, it's that unconditional love. You love them no matter what. Like I told my baby kids who are adults now, you know, they're still my babies until I leave earth. Um, my adult baby kids, I told them, I will love you until forever. I will love you unconditionally forever, as long as you don't do one thing. And that is make a choice to harm another person on purpose, to harm or kill another animal or person. The minute you purposely choose to harm or kill someone with the exception of defense. Okay. If a grizzly bear is coming at you, you may need to kick its butt. If another human's coming after you, you may need to kill them, okay? It's it's you or them, you're going to have to kill them. That's self-defense, okay? That's different. I'm talking about you purposely, you know, decide to pull a gun out and shoot someone, or you purposely decide to poison someone, or you purposely decide to push someone off a cliff, or you purposely um, cheat on somebody and hurt, you know, break their heart and be a total asshole, you know, that kind of thing. I, I said, if you choose, if you make a choice, a conscious choice to hurt, purposely hurt people or animals, then it, all bets are off. I, I don't think I can love you anymore. Other than that, I said, I don't care if you're gay, straight, whatever, change your name, change your whatever sex. Um, you know, I don't care, you know, if you have sex, you don't have sex. If you get pregnant out of wedlock, whatever that's, you know, you make your bed, you have to lay in it. You have to make your own conscious choices. I told them whatever choices they make in their life, it's their own growth, their own contract. I can't live their life for them. I don't have control over them and you don't have control over your kids either. They have their own life contract when they're adults. Once they're adults, you don't get to say what they do anymore. Once they're 18, okay? Um, you know, you don't, you don't get to tell them what to do anymore. So they get to make their own choices. However, whatever the choice is, I told them I will always be here to love and support you no matter what. That is the kind of love that they both have, both of them, okay? Miriam of Magdala and Yeshua Christ. They love us unconditionally. So does Lord Buddha. So does Sananda, Maitreya, El Moria, Serapis Bay. All the ascended masters practice this agape unconditional love. All of the members, Lord Buddha and Buddha and Yeshua taught the same stuff. Kuan Yin, white buffalo calf woman, Mother Mary, all of these beings taught this unconditional love and practice this unconditional love. That is what you all need to have for your asleep families right now. They need you more than ever. And you know why? Because when they do wake up, it's going to be devastating for them. When they find out they've been living a lie their whole life. And they also, if they really love you the way you love them, or even a percent of what you love them, if they love you at all, they're going to feel horrible grief and guilt over how bad they've hurt you, how bad they've backstabbed you, how bad they've told you they're going to lock you up. Okay. When my husband hurts, has hurt me in the past, not knowingly, like he does something and he doesn't realize it was bad or wrong. And he finds out that what he did was harmful to me or whatever. He just is besides himself because he loves me. He really does just because he's asleep. Doesn't mean he doesn't love me. He really, we love each other greatly. We've been together 36 years and we have a great love for each other. He's just totally brainwashed right now. Okay. He's not a bad person. He's a really amazing, good person. He's done a lot of good things in his life for people. So, um, which is why I stay with him. I have a lot of people put rude comments, you know, in the comments about why do you stay with your husband and you should divorce him and da, da, da. You know what? No, first of all, it's none of your damn business. Okay. What I do with my relationships, stop telling me you should do this. You should do that. I'm sorry, people, but it's none of your business who I'm in a relationship with. And you know, if I stay with them or don't stay with them, that's my choice. I'm not going to come to your house and tell you go divorce your husband because they're asleep. No. So don't tell me that. 
you know, I, I love my husband dearly and he loves me. I mean, he just bought me a new car for my wedding anniversary gift and brought me roses and took me out to dinner. And, you know, he loves me. Is he brainwashed right now by the, by the news media and MK ultra programming? Absolutely. It's not his fault. You cannot blame your sleeping family members for all this crap going on in the world. Do not blame them. It is not okay to put the blame on them. It's not their fault. They happen to be weak-minded. They're not who we are because they're not part, they didn't choose in their contract to be the first stage of the great awakening. Okay, we are all, everyone watching this, you are all stage one of the great awakening. Okay, we've all been awake for a few years now, some of us even longer, I'm actually, actually, you guys are really more like stage two, most of you, myself and some of my sisters were stage one because I've already been awake my whole life. Okay. If you just woke up in the last few years, you're actually stage two. Okay. Because some of it, some of us have been awake our whole life. I was mostly awake for 20 plus years, but then in very last few years, I found out like about elections and about trafficking. And there's a few things I found out about um, celebrities, you know, that kind of stuff. That's the new stuff I found out. I always knew politicians were corrupt my whole life. I always knew the medical system was corrupt my whole life. I always knew the food was poisoned, all the food and the water and the air and the chemtrails. I already knew all this, okay? So I'm stage one. You guys, most of you are stage two, unless you've been awake for many years. Have some compassion for these people who you are friends and family with and love them the way Christ loves you. Love them more, harder now more than you ever have in your life. That's what he said to me. Okay. And he told me to tell all of you this because he said that we have all been butchering ourselves, lowering our vibration. We're actually doing self-harm. We're actually blocking our ascension right now with this total disdainment for our families, the way they're treating us and literally, literally getting into like this apathetic, almost indifference because the way that they've been treating us, it's horrible. Okay. When your own spouse who really loves you says, I'm really worried that you've lost your mind and you're crazy and you may have to get locked up because if you continue this way, you know, when they say that kind of stuff to you, yes, it's extremely hurtful but they don't know what they're saying. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. They really don't. They're under a dark mind spell. You and I are not. If you are anything like me, I can't be hypnotized. I've gone to every hypnotherapist known to man. They can't hypnotize me, okay? So, um, I mean, I have, I've had hypnotherapy for, what was it? couple fears. I had some fears and I had hypnotherapy. I wasn't really under hip hypnosis. It was more that I was able to reprogram my brain with the positive thoughts, but it, you can't put me under hypnosis, but m majority of humans are very feeble minded. Okay. They only think with a quarter or less of their brain and they can be easily put under dark magic spells and hypnosis with just a snap. Okay. That's how the majority of humanity is. If you are completely awake right now and you've always been awake, you you are somebody who it's really hard to hypnotize or maybe not even possible to hypnotize. What does that mean? That means that when you go to the movie theater and they tell you buy Coke over and over again, you say, screw that. And you go get a bottle of water. Whereas my kids, they'll go buy the Coke because they're totally mindless programmed they've been programmed by the Kabbalah education system since they were two or three and then they've been programmed by the tv the radio the music the thing that they had on the moon that they've been you know sending into our brains now for um 26 000 years or however long it's been up on the moon with them broadcasting mind control to us you know mo majority of humans are under this dark mind spell Please, 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 I cannot urge you enough to have compassion for your family, have compassion for your friends, have compassion for your dentist or whoever it is that's totally asleep, okay? Most of the people who work with me, my chiropractor, my dentist, all of these people, they're, they're asleep. They're really good people. They're really nice. My chiropractor is amazing. She's an amazing chiropractor. She's an amazing healer. 
but she doesn't know about a lot of things, but she's learning from me. She's got a really open mind. And when I'm telling her things, she's listening and she's actually taking it seriously, which is really cool. So this was a message from him. Love your family the way he has loved you. Love them harder than ever now. Be really compassionate and patient with them. Have some patience because very soon they're either going to be hit with a solar flash that's going to wake their ass up and restore all their memories to them or the EBS thing or something like that is going to happen. But, and it might even be both at the same time. We don't know. Remember it said in the Bible, he comes like a thief in the night. We're not supposed to know when this stuff happens. People ask me every day, when is this going to happen? When's that going to happen? If I knew I would be having a party right now. But the fact of the matter is I don't know because the, the timelines keep getting hijacked over and over and over by the dark side with their CERN thing. Every time they turn CERN on, um, that's another thing that happened recently is they claim that they turned it on. But I happen to know that the good guys have taken that thing over um, because if they didn't take it over, they were going to suck the earth into a black hole or totally rip, rip it apart into shreds. I mean, they had some really nefarious plans that they were going to do with that. So Usher and the Antichrist, whatever. I mean, they had some really horrible plans for that thing. So it's been taken over. I think it was taken over a year or two ago, um, maybe longer. I don't know by the good guys, but at least in the last year or two, it's been taken over by the good guys. So you don't need to worry, okay? Um, you do not need to worry about this kind of stuff, okay? Just focus on staying in the present moment, doing things that make yourself happy and filled with joy every day. Like last night, I was up till midnight singing karaoke. It made me very happy, okay? I was singing my little heart out. I sang some Journey, sang some Celine Dion, sang some John Denver, you know, <laughs> little of everything, sang some opera. Um, but, but that kind of stuff makes me happy. I could do karaoke from now till the car cows come home and I'm super happy. The other thing I did is I did a, a dance workout, you know, to some really cool, like hip hop kind of music. I mean, it was awesome and made me feel good and healthy and it was good for my body. This is the kind of stuff you do. I do Qigong every single day to get my energy flowing through my body positively these are the things you should be focusing your attentions on, not all the distractions, the, the dark side. And we're going to talk about this in our ladies round table. They keep throwing distraction after distraction after distraction at us every day. And it takes you off of your ascension. Okay. You can't ascend if you're looking over here at the Johnny Depp case and looking over here at a obelisk being blown up and, you know, it's, Oh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. And while that's happening, really nefarious crap's going on in the background. And that's why they distract us. Plus they're lowering our vibrational frequency because every one of you right now should be doing what I talk about in my book. I gave you a whole guidebook, um, Ascension 101, a roadmap for your soul. Where did that thing go? You know what? I think it fell on the floor. Um, oh, there it is. Ascension 101, a roadmap for your soul. This thing has all the instructions on what you need to do to ascend. You need to do your inner child work. You need to do your work on, you know, dark nights of the soul and your shadow work and clearing karma and clearing contracts and curses and DNA stuff. And, you know, you have a lot of layers of the onion to peel away in order to ascend. Okay. People like myself who have been already working on ourselves for 30, started working on myself 37 years ago. I'm not going to have a problem when the ascension, when all of the stuff, the big stuff hits, I'm not going to have a problem. Okay. People are going to have a problem when they, um, when the ascension hits and you haven't done any work at all, what's going to happen. And this is according also to a guy named Ismail Perez, who's really big on, um, social media right now. And a lot of us were all in agreement on this actually, that the, the people like our family members who haven't done any work on themselves at all, they don't get to go right to 5D right now. Okay. They don't, they will eventually, they will go hopefully in this lifetime. What they're going to do is they're going to go to 4D first. We are going to go right into 5D. Why? Because we've been doing the work on ourselves. And then guess what our job is people. If you're awake right now, 
you chose to help all of your 40, your family that's going to be 4D, you chose to teach and guide them and help them to go to 5D. So they will go to 5D too. Don't get it out of your head that, oh, they're not, oh my family's not going to 5D. Boo. No, that's wrong, actually. They are going to go to 5D as long as they've contracted to stay here. If they've contracted to stay here on this earth and not leave and die and go somewhere else, they will be going to 5D, but we all have to work together as a universal unified team on earth to help these people to go to 5D. We chose to wake up first to be way showers, you know, light workers, light warriors, way showers. We're showing them the way, kind of like this guy who's the light, the truth and the way, okay? We're showing them the way. So we will go to 5D. We will have superpowers. We'll have all our memories back. We'll be walking on water like that guy did. He said we would. He said, well, you'll do everything I did and more. Okay. You'll have telepathy. We'll be, all of us awake people will be talking to each other telepathically. I can talk to my best friend down in Southern California, you know, um, in our heads. We've actually already had conversations about this, about working on it, like now, like starting to work on that so we can start communicating in case, in case the, the uh, electricity, the grid, everything goes down. We want to be able to telepathically communicate. So we're going to try to practice, I think, working on that. So you, if you're awake right now and you have done the work on yourself, you have done your inner child work, you've cleared all your karma, your contracts, your curses, your this, your that, your wrong belief systems, your ego, you've totally cleared away the dark sides of your ego. I write about that in my book. There's the dark side of your ego. And then there's the good side of your ego. Everybody has an ego. Ego is important. Um, but the ego it has a dark side and a light side. So you have to heal and clear and rid yourself of the dark side, like the jealousy, the possessiveness, the needing to be like, I need to be right. I need you to believe what I believe. I don't really care about any of that. I got rid of my bad part of my ego a long time ago, long time ago. Okay. I've been doing this work for 37 years on myself. All right. People who just woke up and haven't done the work yet, they may not be going right into 5D. They may be going into 4D. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. You will still get to go into 5D. It just won't be this year, okay, when all the stuff goes down, okay? A bunch of us are going to be leaping into 5D in the next year or by at the la very late latest by the end of next year. But there's going to be a bunch of you who are going to go to 4D, which is good. In my book, I talk about 4D. It's love and compassion and unity. 4D is not bad, people. It's very, very good. Okay. It's just that um, it's, um, you're not, you may not have like all the same abilities and superpowers that the other people who have been doing work on themselves their whole lives will have. Because in order to go to the higher, densities you need to do the work you don't get a free pass you don't get to be a lazy ass sit around eating bonbons your whole life and then oh here you go 5d there you go there is an old saying and that is god helps those who help themselves you will get a hand up not a hand out okay so you have to be willing to work on yourself clear your ego clear all your issues heal your inner child that's the counseling work i do with people I help them with all these things. And my sisters help them with all these things. I have a whole bunch of sisters like Selene and Victoria, and we help people with this stuff, okay? So we can help you because when you do the work, then you will get booted to 5D. The quicker you do the work and you stop being um, lazy and you get down to the nitty gritty and you do the hardcore work on yourself and you look at all your crap and your problems and the ugly parts of yourself, the quicker you will go to five and six and seven D. Okay. I promise you, but you can't just spiritually bypass all of it. Spiritual bypassing is not allowed in this universe. You don't get to say, Oh, just because I'm on earth, I get to go to five D. Yay. No, it doesn't work that way. You will go to five D if, and when you do some work on yourself, and then you will go to five D until then you will be 40. 40 is still good. Okay, again, it's love and unity, compassion. The 3D people are leaving here. Okay, I've told you guys over and over and over and over again, the whole Revelations book is inverted. The whole part of the um, um, 
thing with people being sucked off the planet. They're like, oh, the Christians are going to be taken away. Woo. Just like the, the Left Behind series. No, that's not how it works. It's actually all the 3D narcissists. It's 33% of the planet. So this gets to my next message. I'm going to go over really quick. I asked what percentage of the planet are narcissists stuck in 3D and who are leaving here? 30%. 30% of the humans on this planet, the whole planet are narcissists. 8% of all the humans on the planet are sociopaths. They're, They're in that narcissistic category. Okay. They're also narcissists too. So there's crossover. 3% of the humans on this planet are psychopaths. What does that mean? That means they'll walk into a bar and just murder everybody for no reason and they don't care, all right? That 30% of people, the narcissists, which some of them are psychopaths and sociopaths, are all going to be leaving here. That's the rapture, babes, okay? The rapture is not Christians leaving earth because what about all the kind, loving Buddhists and Jews and Hindus and, and, and um, Muslims? They don't get to, to be destroyed and murdered and killed just because they're not a Christian, okay? That's this baloney doctrine and dogma baloney that people have been brainwashed with. Picking a certain religion doesn't give you a pass, people, okay? What gives you a pass is having being a loving, kind, compassionate person. It doesn't matter if you have a religion. You don't even have to believe in God. You can be an atheist. As long as you are a loving, kind, compassionate human, you have to be 51% or more service to others. If you are 51% or higher service to others, you get to stay here on earth and create the new age of Aquarius, the new golden age with us, the new heavenly earth. You get to stay here. The people who are 3D narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, you know, whatever, the people who we hate, all those pedo, pedo people, rapers, murders, killers, um, drug dealers, pimps, um, you know, cheater, massive cheaters, wife beaters, child beaters, animal abusers. They're out of here, man. They're going. Okay. 33% of the earth population will be, be gone. Okay. In the next few years, they'll be gone. 30% of of the earth population are the bad guys that would be gone. The other 3% are the people who are leaving from this thing, this thing. Okay. And they, um, and also from the thing that starts with letter C. Okay. They're leaving from those two, those people who are good people, they're actually good people who are leaving from those things. They chose that in their contract. It was either a learning experience to be here. Their time is up. They got to go. Um, you know, kind of like my dad used to say, when we talked about death, his thing was always, when your number's up, you got to go. He never feared death. Never. He said, when my number's up, got to go. That's it. He had no fear of death. He was a very, my parents were both very spiritual, very spiritual people and believe very strongly in creator. And, um, they didn't have fear of death. They never had a fear of death. They knew that their soul goes on and on and on and on and on. So, um, I am who I am today because of my, (laughs) my parents, I wouldn't be who I am today. You know, my mother's the one who told me that humans were put here by ETs on this planet and that we were edited by ETs. I mean, she told me this many, 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 many years ago. So the thing is, is that (sighs) everything that you thought you've known since you were born is all been lies. It's all been lies. And all of this is about to be exposed to the world. Now, how much of it, we don't know because some of this humans may not be able to handle. They could wind up having heart attacks, strokes, um, going crazy and killing everybody and burning cities down. We don't want that to happen. So how the good guys start disclosing the info, how they do it and when they do it and why they do it is going to be based on whatever plan they have they're going to do it in a way that is least harmful to humanity, just so you all know. Okay. So however this all comes about, it will be whatever way is least harmful for humanity. They have to do it that way. They have to be because they are compassionate. And I don't know if you've noticed in my video, I've got black fuzzy stuff floating around just so you know, it's not an entity or anything weird like that. What it is, is 
um, this happens when the, um, the sun's going down because I'm sitting in the window here and the sun is going down. When I have more light, I don't have the black fuzzy stuff. The black fuzzy stuff starts happening when I start losing light and it's something to do with the camera, the way the camera works and the amount of light coming in. Um, so that's where that's from. And my, my good camera actually broke. It's just not working. I put it on and it's just black. So I'm using my computer camera, which is really poor quality. So if I look like a fuzzy wuzzy thing to you all, and my hair looks almost a strange red kind of color, which it's not, I did not dye my hair red. It's a dark brown color with um, very dark brown color with some red highlights. Um, it's because I'm using the crappy computer camera because my other camera's dead and I'm gonna have to order a new fancy schmancy camera. So um, anyways, we have wonderful, amazing things coming. I just want you all to know, do not be in fear because the next few years are gonna just be like a whirlwind. And then we're gonna start rebuilding. Everything's gonna collapse. So lots of bad stuff's gonna come down, but it's not gonna harm you or your families. Just keep that in mind. We're all safe and protected. It's gonna seem like the whole world's falling apart and it's gonna seem scary, but you cannot go to a place of fear, okay? You need to be calm and breathe and stay in the present moment because this all has to happen. You can't rebuild on the ashes of an, of an old disaster if you don't tumble it down, okay? It has to be like the walls of Jericho. It all has to come tumbling down, just like they tumbled down those disgusting satanic um, you know, um, what they call the, the American Stonehenge, uh, that thing, by the way, had a tablet on the top of it that had human blood on it from sacrifices that they had done because they opened up a portal to hell. They placed that thing on ley lines to open a portal to hell. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning. And so that thing had to come down. Okay. Cause they had a portal that was open there they'd done blood sacrifices and all kinds of stuff. Plus the fact that it it's a tablet saying how they're going to shrink us. It's a manifesting thing. Cause when you put it in writing like that, especially in stone, it makes something manifest. They were trying to manifest only 500 million people left on the planet. So that had to come down. If that would have stayed there, we would have manifested that people. Okay. Um, there's a guy named Jake Ducey. He's on YouTube. I love watching him. He's also on Facebook a lot. And he, he's an expert on manifesting stuff and he has you write it down. And when you write it, it's really powerful. But if you inscribe it in stone, it's a gazillion times more powerful. So if they would have left those stones up, if people are online telling you, oh, the bad guys knocked it down, ignore that. The good guys knocked it down. So we don't manifest what they were putting on there. We don't want 500 million on our planet. We want all of us, right? Or at least all of us minus the bad guys which is going to be more like 6 billion or more six. Yeah. 6 billion, because like I said, 33%. So this is what's coming. We have 33%. We have all kinds of crazy stuff coming. It's going to be a roller coaster ride. I've said it before up and down, put on your big boy pants or big girl pants, put on your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I'm not going to tell people to get out popcorn because this is not going to be a fun movie. It's going to be a scary, sad, crazy, psychopathic, destroyer thing. Okay. It's not something you're going to sit and eat popcorn because you'd be choking on it and spitting it out. And I don't want you to do that. All right. What I want you to do is take a chill pill, go have a nice glass cup of tea, drink some nice filtered water, do your yoga, do your mindfulness, do your Tai Chi, walk in nature, get out in nature every day, go fly a kite, like the end of Mary Poppins where the family goes out and they sing, let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Anyways, so that is, is what you need to do. Get your butts out of your house, go have some fun. The darkness is getting bigger behind me because of, see now if I pull away and I bring light in from the light up above, it decreases and then it comes back again. Yeah. Cause it's getting dark in here and this camera is not liking it. Stupid camera. Anyways, <laughs> this camera is pissing me off people. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I hope I put a smile on your face with some of this and yeah, I talked about some serious stuff and I'm not trying to shame anyone or point fingers or anything like that. 
I'm a teacher. I'm a truth sayer. I have to stand in my truth. What's true for me may not be true for you. You may say, oh, Kimberly is full of crap. I don't agree with anything. Guess what? That's your prerogative. I respect you. I respect everyone. I respect all your beliefs. If you don't like a damn thing I'm saying, just go to the next channel, move on. I don't care. Okay. Um, if you love what I'm saying, wow, that's awesome. Thank you. I'm glad. Um, if you agree with some of it, that's good too. Okay. Either way, I'm just here to help whoever's ready for the information. Okay. If you're ready for it, great. But I'm not going to baby you and treat you like poor little babies and talk to you like you're a bunch of children. I'm going to shoot it straight. I'm a straight shooter. So I am going to speak the truth. And sometimes it may sound harsh, but honestly, in order to mature and to learn and grow, sometimes you need a harsh truth. I'm not going to butter it up and make it all butterflies and lollipops and rainbows. I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I would not be helping you if I did that. You can't grow and mature spiritually if I'm throwing a bunch of rainbow lollipop bullshit at you, like tra-la-la, let's all go hold hands and sing kumbaya, woohoo. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. The whole hand-holding kumbaya thing, no, not going to work with me. I'm going to shoot it to you straight, just like I do to every client and every session. If somebody is eating too much popcorn, I'm going to say, damn it, you're eating too much popcorn. Stop eating too much popcorn. Okay. I'm a straight shooter. I'm always going to tell you the truth. When you come to my channel, I'm going to speak my truth and I'm not going to hold back. Okay. Yes, I have a big mouth and my in-laws don't like me because I have a big mouth. I don't freaking care because they're a bunch of sheeple anyway. So, hey, I don't care if they like me or not. So sorry to use that word, but it's the truth. That's what they are. So um, I think I said enough. I have talked enough for the day. Um, I've been talking too much today. I was actually choking a bunch earlier because my throat got so dry from talking too much today. So I'm going to let you all go. I love you all so much. And as a very, very dear client friend of mine always says, I hold you and kiss you tight. One last quick thing I want to share is Linda Polk, who is the creator of um, the jewelry line that Yeshua asked me to create, which I can't do with my arthritic hand. So I had my friend Linda do it. She is a beautiful Christian grandma who, who suffers from multiple sclerosis. And so she can't like just go out and work at a day job. She has a home business. She makes all this beautiful healing jewelry. Her newest uh, product is called a pocket pal fidget. And there are these little things. So these are actually lapis lazuli crystals and um, um, I forgot the name of this gold. So it's, it's the fool's gold stuff. Um, I forgot the name of it, but it's also called fool's gold. Um, and what those do is they help heal your body. These particular ones are for healing and bone strength and uh, joint pain and all that kind of stuff and protection. And they also protect your third eye and open your third eye. Um, that type um, of thing. They're just amazing. So these are ones that I got for me um, from her. She sent them to me actually as a gift to help me, but she sells them in different crystals for different things. She's got the Yeshua and Mary Magdalene empowerment and protection line that, that they gave me to create. And um, she's got lots of other ones as well. Third eye ones. Um, she's got beautiful bracelets, beautiful necklaces, stuff for men. She's got keychains. Uh, so if you have guys in your life, you could get them one of these with the lapis lazuli and this other thing. Um, and they keep it in their pocket. It's a little fidget and they hold it in their hands and it helps uh, with healing. Um, so that is a really, really um, a, a good thing. And I will put the link to Linda Polk's uh, page on Etsy. It's called Crystal Cavern Shop. But I will put the link because if you Google Crystal Cavern Shop, it doesn't come up for some reason. If you even if you go into Etsy and search it, it won't come up. I have to give you the exact link. So I will put that in the um, description um, uh, below the video. So if you stick the down arrow, you you click on it, it'll have all my 
contact info and class info. And the other uh, last minute announcement I have is I am so excited. I have created a new meditation for children. All of you have been asking me or not all of you, but many of you have asked me for a meditation for kiddos. Um, back 11, 12 years ago, I was teaching a lot of meditation courses, mostly um, in my business. And I was teaching a lot of children. Um, you can teach kids of any age, even age two, as long as they're old enough to have a brain and listen to you and follow instructions. They're at an age where they're good at following instructions. They can meditate. So I've recorded a beautiful um, um, spirit guided meditation for spirit animals. It's a spirit animal transformation kind of a uh, thing with beautiful Native American flute music in the background and sounds of the woods in the background and the wolves howling and all kinds of stuff. It's just really awesome. I've recorded that. I'm going to be putting it up on my Learn It Live page uh, this weekend. I don't have it up right now, this moment. As soon as I have it ready to go, um, I will put a link um, to it. I might, I'll add it in on this video later. Hopefully I'll have time. And before I get this video up, I can just add it in. We'll see. Um, but I am going to put that up. It's only $33. I'm trying to make it super affordable. I don't get all that money. I only get a small, a part of it because it goes to the learn it live, uh, which is a different company. It's not me. Um, it's a turnkey program. So I have it up on there and I, I get a portion of that, but I'm trying to make it as affordable as possible for you all. So single moms can do it with their kids. If you have a kid age five and up, I recommend age five and up. Um, you need to do it with your child. This is not something where you just sit them down and let them go on their own. You really need to kind of help be there to help them and assist them and make sure they're doing it properly um, and do the meditation with them because it's even more powerful when you both do it together. It's extremely relaxing. It's helpful for ADD, ADHD, Focus concentration, improving grades, improving health, improving sleep, um, getting rid of stress, getting rid of anxiety and depression, just all sorts of benefits of meditation for kiddos. So, um, and they actually have scientific studies uh, that they did following monks for like a series of 10 years. And they said that the meditation made their gray matter in their brain grow bigger. So it actually makes your gr brain grow smarter and bigger and your memory better, it improves memory, it improves all kinds of stuff. So um, I will have a link for that soon. It will also be up on my website soon, probably within the next three days. I will have all that up for you. Um, so thank you so much for supporting this channel and, and please help me out for other people to see this channel by liking my video commenting on it and sharing it with everybody and also subscribing to my channel. And I, I don't want it because you to do that because I'm trying to like improve numbers. It's not really about the numbers. It's about the fact that YouTube will share the video with more people if you do that. And I'm here to help as many people as I possibly can. Okay. I'm not here to get millions of followers. I don't really care about that. I just want to help as many people as I can that need the messages I'm bringing, um, because that's what I'm here for. So the more you share and like my videos and do that kind of stuff, the more, um, we can get this information out to people who really need it to help them on their journey. And thank you so much for being with me through the last three years that I've been on YouTube. I really appreciate all of you. And I wish you all much love and health, happiness, and joy always. Take care. Bye.